has hidden her abilities, but on her 15th birthday, she is conscript- conscript- Own 2 has hidden her abilities, but on her 15th birthday, she is constrict- conscript- Why is that word so hard for me to say? Sloan 2 has hidden her abilities, but on her 15th- <clears throat> Okay, alright, I just want to finish this sentence. Hello everybody, my name is Kelsey, and we're about to get very, very nerdy with an unboxing. have April's fairy loot that just literally just arrived and I'm so excited I cannot wait to dive in so I don't as always remember the theme because then um, I'm really good at forgetting that kind of thing but we'll find that out momentarily it's relatively heavy this month but I wouldn't say it's like overly heavy so I'm excited to see what what goodies we've got as always, I will leave a Fairy Loots link down below if you are ever curious. They have plenty of boxes, both Y and adult, but I did buy this with my own money, so I'm not a rep or anything. I just really like these boxes, and I like unboxing them with you. So, with that being said, let us dive in. Okay, so, here we go. Dun, da, da, da. Look at that. I take the spoiler card off. Oh, many good things. So, this month's theme is bittersweet, and this is what the spoiler card looks like. Absolutely beautiful as always. And then of course on the back we have all that fun information. I'll put it to the side for when I actually, you know, need to pick it up. I am seeing right on top this deck of cards, which did was supposed to be in last month's box. They had some issues with, I think, the shipping, and so it came late. So it was included in this month's box instead. But I will open this first since um, it's kind of like a little added bonus right on top. I'm excited to see what's in here. It says Threads of Fate on the top, which was the theme from last month. And the box itself is beautiful. Oh, there's the easy opening. I couldn't find the little like tab to open it. But the box itself is just stunning itself. Um, and I love some good, I've got a couple of uh, editions of fairy loot cards, like playing cards like this that have come from fairy loot and they've, they're always pretty. Ooh, they have this very pretty boiling on the edge. Love that. Oh, they're so pretty. So the back of the cards look like the box itself and those are what they look like on the inside. I like these better because the ones I have are purple, which are stunning, but they're really hard to actually play with. So let me pull all of the face cards out so I can show you the artwork. I know that this is based on, I'll have to take a look at last month's card, but I know that this is based on things like Six Currents and Cranes. I think um, Dawn of the Moon Goddess was in here. I know that uh, Jade Fire whatever that book's called, I think is in here as well. So all of this is designed by Naivu, and on the side it says, oh, the character inspired by only a monster, daughter of the moon goddess, six crimson cranes, and jade fire gold. Um, so I'm going to assume that each set is going to be a different fandom. Um, oh, yep, I've already answered that question. So the diamond set, I'm not sure what this one's based on because out of those four, I've only read one, <laughs> but I could pick that one out right away. Uh, so we've got the set of diamonds. So we have the Jack, the Queen, and the King. I'm gonna guess this is six crimson cranes based on the Queen having six cranes behind her. And then we've got the heart set. So we've got the Jack, the Queen, and the king um, based on, I don't quite know, but I based on what the queen has around her, I would guess that this one is daughter of the moon goddess maybe? Those are just my guesses. Now the spade, or not the spade, the club suit is definitely only a monster. That's the one I've read, so I do know this one. So we've got the jack, the queen, and the king. Love that. And then the last one is the spade, which is the jack, the queen, and the king. And based on the colors here. My guess would be Jade Fire Gold, but again, I'm not 100% sure. But those are beautiful. I love the artwork on these. Um, and again, very happy that like these are pretty easy to like use as far as cards go. 
um, because I like to pull out decks of cards when like I'm visiting my parents or my parents are visiting mom and I like to play gin a lot. So I can actually use these, which are very exciting. Plus they're pretty. Oh, I'm so happy with those. Those are really pretty. Worth the wait in my opinion. Okay, diving into this month's box, right on top I see a pin, and this is Strange the Dreamer Moth Pin, and this is designed by Zek Hawk. Um, have I told you lately that I love that Fairy Loot tells you what these things are based on? Because I love that. Oh my god, this is so pretty. This moth is absolutely beautiful. I have read Strange the Dreamer, not the sequel, but the first one. Um, so I do actually get this this, I mean, I probably would have been able to pick this up out if it hadn't told me, but that's beautiful. I love the colors in it, and it's definitely going on my little pin banner I've got. I put very few on there, but the ones that I really, really like go on there, and so this one's for sure going to go on there. I then see what I can only assume is a night circus trinket dish. I do love this one a lot. It says, yep, right there on the bottom, it says it is Aaron Morgenstern's Night Circus, but I feel like it's pretty obvious as far as, like, the like this is basically the the cover I have the US cover I'm not sure how similar it is to the UK cover and so the quote on here is and there are never there are really never endings happy or otherwise I like that this is a good size dish it actually I like to have like a little trinket dish with a few things in our guest bathroom and this one will go with the theme that I'm kind of this black and white theme so I'm very excited about that plus I love a night circus it's amazing we have two books this month sorry I'm just now seeing what was under that and it's a paperback that's first off stunning oh my gosh and that is an arrow to the moon by Emily XR pan and then it's got like these beautiful sprayed edges as well oh my gosh this cover is so pretty um never heard this but it says on the back that it's a spellbounding reinterpretation of Romeo and Juliet filled with romance magic and Chinese mythology I have seen many things oh and it's signed look at that I have seen this author I don't know if we've got do we have anything by her I think we don't have anything by her I don't think I've read anything by this author but I do know the name and I love a good Romeo and Juliet retelling plus mythology so like two check marks for me yes sold I'm usually very hesitant when it comes to like a second book in the box not because I don't love that we get to that makes me very happy but the second one is never as exciting to me but this one is very exciting plus like this foiled cover is stunning oh my god I can't get over it um yeah oh my gosh I had not heard of this one is this one relatively new yeah it came out this year so um <laughs> yes please very excited didn't know we were getting two books I mean they might have told us but I'm really bad at like paying attention to like the information they actually give us on next month so yeah oh I'm so happy so the next thing I see is this box that says heart fairy lights on it love that um so I'm pretty sure that's exactly what they are not based on any fandom in specific Ooh. and oh they're so cute so yeah they are just fairy lights that are in the shape of a heart um i love fairy lights I, as you guys know i have like basically christmas lights all around but i do use fairy lights for certain things so this could be very fun um putting up somewhere in this library i'm not sure where yet but i'm a huge fan of fairy lights and these are so cute i've never seen these heart ones before so uh yes please thank you very excited about those okay i see a cloth item next um what I, huh? So it looks like this. I'm trying to figure out. Oh, oh! Oh, it's a little. Oh, that's cute. Hold on. Let me open it up. So it's a little like tote. Look at that. Isn't that just so cute? Oh, it's got a quote on it. It says, what is a person if not the marks they leave behind by V.E. Schwab? Oh, is this like a, a darker shade of magic or something? This is, no, this is an Addie LaRue. How did I not get that from all the constellations? I'm a fake fan. I love this. I'm trying to keep like putting it into like an actual shape. Um, I could use this for sure. Um, I am always in the need of other things around. So, um, plus Addie LaRue. Oh my gosh. And like, it feels like really thick and weird, but it seems like it's really good quality too. So, 
I'll for sure be using that. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but I will find things for sure. Okay, I think we've come down to the book, so let me grab that out, and then, oh my goodness, I love this. Okay, so we have our next two cards and the spiritual, not spiritual, the celestial tarot deck that they're doing. So we've got the Emperor and the High Priestess. Beautiful. Um, I have an inkling as to what I know these are based on. Based on, yep, Daughter of the Moon Goddess, which the last two were as well. I love this style. I know I freaked out about them last month, so I'll try to keep my freak out to a minimum, but, um, I love them so much. Those are so pretty. I need to find, like, a holder to put this new deck in. So we've got the book, which feels like a relatively thick one, so let me get all of the fun information out. So we have our bookmark, as we always do, which is based on the spoiler card. We then have the fairy scoop, which has all fun information about this author, this month's theme, things like that. Um, and then on the back, we've got next month's theme, which is cloak and dagger. Very excited. I don't know anything. I have no guesses. Um, and then one more thing on top here, which, ooh, is this beautiful print that is on the back of the Dear Frieder letter. Look how pretty that is. I love that. Plus, like, this, the colors of the sky behind are so pretty. They always come up with beautiful designs. Okay, so, ooh, do you see that? Look at that blue. I have no idea what this could be, so let's find out to... This is, this is harder than it should be. Okay, here we go. Ooh! Blood Scion, I think, by Deborah. Oh, no. Fale? Fale? <laughs> I'm sure I said that wrong. I've never heard or seen this cover before. It's beautiful. So we've got blue sprayed edges all the way around. And, ooh, exclusive third edition signed right there on the... Oh, our art's back! Um... Sorry, I've, there's a lot of things happening. Um, that is so pretty. Ooh, I like this a lot. Is the back the same? Yes. And then the book is the same as the cover. I can't. Do you see how pretty that is? <gasps> oh, it's so pretty. I love, I love everything about this. I love everything about this. And then the art underneath is, ooh, how fun. I think that must be our girl from the print. I have no idea what this is about, so just gonna we're gonna learn together. I am a descendant of Shango, the god of heat and fire. I am a living inferno. I am a dead girl walking. I'm already hooked. Fifteen-year-old Sloan can incinerate an enemy at will. She is a scion, a descendant of the ancient Orsha gods. But under the brutal rule of the Lu Lucas Lucius, her identity means her death. Her mother knew as much. She disappeared trying to hide Sloan's truth. Sloan, too, has hidden her abilities, but on her 15th birthday, she is conscripted into the Lucas army. Once taken, Sloan must not only conceal her power, but overcome the bloody challenges of Lucas training. But if she can infiltrate the Lucas, she can destroy her enemies, the people who think of her as less than human, the overlords responsible for her mother's disappearance. Sloan rises through the ranks and gains strength, but in doing so, risks something greater, losing herself entirely and becoming the very monster she abhors. I am very interested. It sounds like it's a, like, martial fantasy of sorts. This cover is so pretty. I have no idea what the original could even look like. Um, I'll have to look it up if I can find, like, the original somewhere because this is just, like, very vibrant. But I am interested. This is definitely giving me, like, oh, what was that series that came out? Children of Blood and Bone a little bit, because um, that seems to have very similar vibes to this one, but beautiful. And like both of our books this month are so pretty. Look at that. I cannot. Um, so great box, in my opinion. Let me know if you've read either of these books. I think they're both relatively new. They like to do that, where they send out something that's really, really new. Yeah, this one also came out in 2022. But if you have read either of these, please let me know your thoughts on them. Both books are beautiful. Um, I think we figured out what everything was based on because Fairy Loot is very good about telling you. Uh, favorite item? I don't know. 
all of them were really good. Like, I'm obsessed with the tarot cards, like you guys know. I love the trinket dish, not the trinket dish, but like this dish here. What are they calling it? Just a tray. Um, because I'm going to use this immediately. The pin is beautiful and pins are usually not my favorite things in boxes because I don't usually know what to do with them. But that one's quite, I will use everything in this box. I'm going to use everything. So this was a very, very good box in my opinion. But that is all I have for you guys today. Please let me know, like I mentioned, if you've read either of the books that we got in this month's box or just sitting at home, what your favorite item would be from today's unboxing. Or if you get it, let me know what your favorite item was. Either way, let me know. But if you like this video and I very much hope that you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you'd like to be part of this awesome growing family. I've also got all my social media down there as well as other fun bookish links. So don't forget to check all that out and I will see you guys in my next video.